I'm Christine, the anxious beginner. And that's Pale, our fearless captain. Together, we've bought a 45-foot sailboat, and we're ready for an adventure. So I stayed home <coughs> sick today, and uh, I just woke up, and I had left this bilge open because there was a little bit of dampness in the bottom and I was hoping it would dry out with the heaters being on here. And I just looked at it just now and suddenly it's not just damp, it's got quite a lot of water in it. We have been getting a lot of water in our bilge, but we assumed it was coming in because of the rain and that there's a leak in the windows at the back or something. Except right now it's not raining. <coughs> and uh, given it's not raining, I was like, where is this water coming from? Also, until today, there hadn't been any new water showing up in the bilge in the last week. Which is odd, because it has been raining over the last week. It even snowed a whole bunch. Then I realized that just last night, I discovered the water on our dock had been turned back on, so I was like, great, I can refill the water tanks. I realized this morning I turned on the water pump, and when I went to have a nap, I'd left it on. So somewhere <coughs> in our water pipes, there must be a leak. I have a suspect that we have a shower uh, back, back on the swim step. I turned it on a couple months ago. The valve started leaking, so I turned it off again. But maybe it has a slow leak or something, even when it's off. But I'm pretty confident we have a leak in our potable water system. Well, this is the valve, which you can see is quite rusty for the stern shower. And, well, it should be replaced. Nothing around here is damp, so this is definitely not where the leak is coming from. So because the bilge is so full of water, it's impossible to tell which area the boat it came from. So I'm going to pump it out. If the bilge is really dry, hopefully I'll be able to see where the water is trickling in from. Turn on the valve here to one of our water tanks and then turn on the water pressure. I think this might be it. I'm not sure it shows up in this frame, but it looks like a little pool of water slowly accumulating there. Let's wipe it up and see if it comes back. Ooh, hold on. Nope, that's definitely coming from the other side. Okay, we figured out that our freshwater leak is somewhere on the starboard side, aft of uh, the deepest part of the bilge. Uh, on the starboard side, we have a hot water heater, a water maker, and a heat exchanger with a hydraulic heat system. The parts I can see when I open that up do look like they were leaking at the time. So now we're going to see what else we can open up to get under there and hopefully find evidence of where it actually is. This area here has got water in it. So I see water way down in the bilge there. That's dry though. take our table out completely to get at the bilge and find out where the leak's actually happening. It's dry over there, which suggests the water is filling this space and then spilling over into the bilge. The leak might 
might not even be here, mm -hmm. but um, once we get it up, we can mop up all the water, turn on the pump, and see which section it comes from. Okay. That sounds like a great plan. So we have standing water on top of the forward tank and the rear tank. I'm not sure how water gets to both places because there's no channel connecting them. But we're going to mop it all up and then turn on the pump and see where the water appears to be coming from. apart nearly as much of the boat as we did to find it. Um, but we did learn a lot more about our boat. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it is in a very awkward spot. You can know if there's even, like, if we replace the fitting that's leaking, will we have to cut the pipe shorter? And if we do have to cut the pipe shorter, is there enough slack in the system? Or do we somehow have to run a whole new pipe? And this pipe is lashed together with zap straps with a whole bunch of other stuff that runs the length of our boat. Not just other pipes, but electrical wires and things. So, I'm going to contact my friend who's a plumber to find out what sort of fitting this is. How do we replace it? Should we replace it with something better? You can also see that there's a few other fittings of the same style that have a crack in them. Even though they haven't started leaking. Hashtag boat life. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to join us on the next adventure, hit subscribe.